Now this part of the scalp forest is a tad bonkers. You can easily go ahead and really mess yourself up, kind of. I mean, you can go the straight path and I'll probably do this time, but when I first played it, I'll show a path I took instead. But anyways, you can go talk over here and you have Mr. Krabs giving me the objective of this area. I tried to rhyme Hi, Mr. Krabs. What are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick. I'm trying to return three stone tickets to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there. I saw three tiki's scattered around this area, but the old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Basically, you have three seats, stone tokens like this one, and you have to throw them at each of these platforms. If you mess up somehow, you got this button here that resets it. And this mechanic will be used a lot. And I don't mean that just a little bit, I mean a lot. And it won't be fun. Anyways, the way I took when I first played this level is I just went ahead and took a right, left, left, one over here. Now you're not supposed to go this way. And it can be tad problematic if you just have Sp if you just have Patrick. Because SpongeBob has moves that Patrick cannot do, and this makes this area way harder if you just do it with Patrick. Well, especially coming this way. And now he's got a nice little another customer. Camper. Over here. Now we're gonna get to the area which makes which makes it almost physically impossible to do with Patrick. Fitzpatrick? With Patrick. You have this dude over here. I mean, it's physically impossible for you to try to get, you can't get him in any sort of way with just Patrick, you can't ground pound on him. He's not, you, you can't jump, oh, nice jump here. You can't jump close enough to ground pound on him. You can't, you can't really do anything with this angle. Makes, um, why could I not do that before? Did I? Well, let's completely screw that. Uh, wow, uh, jeez, pass up, why did I, how, how on earth did I miss that? Did I miss that jump? Oh, yeah, I missed that jump probably. Oh, wow, I was thinking that I thought we were going to go back to the checkpoint, so. See, this is sometimes these jumps, you gotta make the just right. So you're just a little bit off. Do the screw. Anyways. Point of that is to have fun out this camper. But anyways, now back to um, wow, I'm just Squidward. I'm Squidward. I'm Squidward. Uh, back to Patrick. If you can make that jump. Oh, why? Yeah. Got keep making these jumps. These jumps are really hard to make. Just kind of make this one out here, or do I go the other way? I think I have to go the other way. Oops. No, it's not going to make that jump. Yeah. I gotta go the other way. And also, for some reason, while walking back, I completely missed this area. This little area right here. You can easily miss it. You go ahead and throw this block in the ground. You freeze it. And also, you're gonna switch. And there's a treasure all the way over there. And I'm gonna run out of time because the stupid cutscene took too long. Hurry and I love the glitchy stuff. I'll pick this up and run with it. Five, four, three, run and throw it. Ah, oh, didn't work. I thought it would work. Didn't work. Let's try this again. This time, throw that switch, and then throw the ice in the water, and then go. Thanks. That's way easier. I love the glitchiness on the waterfall. Someone did not test the uh, complete, and also the ground too. The ground's got a little bit of graphic glitches with textures and stuff. So I'm going to thoroughly test all the, this area, but oh well. So anyways, we got the 66! We're officially two-thirds done! That's an A1, because if you go, wow, that's water. If you round up... Lamest toss ever! Maybe that might take the cake from lamest toss ever. Okay, I'm going to walk back. And the textures! Yay! For <laughs> some reason, eh, I don't know. 
So officially, we're two thirds done with this game. It doesn't feel like it though. It really doesn't, especially because Kelp Forest. I don't like Kelp Forest. It's probably my least favorite stage of the game, and I almost went ahead and completely missed the Horn Char objective of me going originally over here. I don't like Kelp Forest. It's Curse you, Ledge! Uh, it's kind of weird. I just, I just never could like it. I feel like it's, uh, it's creepy. I don't know. I just don't like it. Not because it's a tad bit hard. Then I feel like a, like a, I'm a wimp. I'm like ah, it's too hard. Like he was dying over and over again. So I'm trying to make my little mini rant here. Sure, it's a good time to do it. But maybe uh, it's a mix of difficult. It's it's not the fun kind of difficult. The puzzles later on, the puzzle in the cave. Spoilers, you can actually find all three. Wow. You didn't believe you could, but maybe you couldn't. I don't know. But anyways, you got a box here. And you missed. You gotta go ahead and hit. I broke that. There you go. Maybe sometimes it's like, it's too... Uh, I don't know. It's, I feel like an idiot just keeps saying, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I honestly... Goodness, don't really know. I just. I really don't like it. I really don't like this stage. I really, I mean, I keep dying over here. I mean, I don't like it because I don't. I die a lot. I. I okay, screw this. I'm gonna get when I can finally get wrong. There we go, guys, over. I'm probably going to do this sometime later on, because I'll die before once doing this. Every time you die, you have to reset. So I kind of just get the access point of being able to do it, instead of actually putting the blocks all the way back. The tiki's all the way back. Because more than likely, you'll miss one jump. I mean, one jump, that's all it takes for you to make it. have to do it all over again. So you miss more than one jump. Anyways, here, if you didn't see this, there's a nice little leaf down here. And you can go this way. Take this nice little underground road. Oh, I have a setup. Wow. The weird thing is, this is actually earlier than what I normally would play, so I can't blame it for me being sleepy. It was like an hour earlier. This seems more like exactly like an hour earlier than I normally would feel. Is, is this solid or is this passable? I don't know. It didn't really matter. Well, actually, maybe because this level requires patience. That might be it. That might be it, actually. Why I hate this level. It requires so much patience. You gotta just be, make sure you take your time. If you take your time, this level isn't hard. But I don't take my time. I'm a person who likes to go push right through the whole entire level. And you can't do this. With, you can't do that with um, uh, this level. You just can't. That's probably why I hate it so much. It's goes against my favorite style of gameplay. Nice, slow, fast. And the puzzles, I don't mind the puzzles. The puzzles are good. It's just the overall feeling of... Uh, there's a way to get higher here. There we go. There's a way to get higher. There's, there's something else up here. There's something up here. Yeah, there's a sack up there. I got that sack again. Jump from here. Oh, jump from here over here. Gotcha. This one making way upward. Ah, jump back to this original platform. Gotcha. Kill the spinning UFO thing. But not the second time I missed it, but just stunned it. Oh, I got it. Dang it! You got a button? That grows that. So now that saves you a lot. Time for. Oh, maybe that's why it's really hard to make that jump. See, that's, that's, that's some, I just went ahead and did that, and you weren't supposed to be able to do that. It is, sometimes the really openness of this game is nice, but other times it's a tad silly. Because, well, I just went ahead and did that. 
And this is the one of the other jumps that are like really, really, absolutely perfect. Or if you if you do not you don't make it. That's why I remember missing that jump multiple times. So it was like right in the beginning for check. Don't kick the bottom element, throw it. It was right in the middle of a checkpoint, so I never really was much. It didn't bother me much. I can, can I can't really. Can you? No, I can't. Just suck over there. So keep that in mind for later. Also, this little section over there. If you want to make a jump for it, and I'll say why not make a jump. Because obviously these shinies are completely worth it. Not money is not worth a life. Or you could just drop down there. Maybe. Yeah, that made way more sense. Yeah, the jump. There's always. I mean, if you just go ahead and time your jumps perfectly well. Perfectly. It's. I, I just don't. It's just. I just don't. I can't go ahead and go and just pay attention to every single jump I make. Or I just get bored. Or. You, you gotta push. There you go. You always hear this part of SpongeBob. It actually doesn't think it comes down, but you can't do it with Patrick. So you need SpongeBob for this. The reason why, why didn't you go back and switch to SpongeBob before going through all this is because there is another TK up here. And I don't know why there was a reminder up here, but this Tiki. Part of this situation. And this is the only one that is actually pretty dang hard to actually go and make a horn to route to go get. I mean, this one, well, there, I mean, the first one's literally right around this bend. And this third one, uh, the second one, actually, technically, but calm down was the last one, is right around this bend. So, now with this little different um, uh, spot there, it's way easier. Well, you're done. But uh, if you go ahead and just. I mean, that's the one. If you end up, if you die from that jump, oh, you're so big screw. Anyways, I'll actually go ahead and just talk to Patrick. Excuse Patrick and talk to Mr. Krabs. I'm going to be here. Well done. Next time I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab, I'll give you a call. Why would the customers want to be very proud? You're a strange one. You are, Patrick. You are a strange one, you are, Patrick. I don't know, that's not the way that line scheme should be. You're a strange, you're a strange one, Patrick. You are. Like something like that. But, uh, now I'm just thinking of the voice acting. Uh, you know, I don't worry, the line is voice acting. Anyways, I can easily come back to you in SpongeBob, and that's the second reason why I go ahead and just do it right away. Anyways, you can go and collect some money here. Uh, you, no sock here, just money. However, there is a nice little path to the right here, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, there you go. Take, take. Alright, so remember that front sock? Well, here you go. Take this way, all the way around. Grab yourself. Enemies! Hooray! Aww! Yes. I don't like you and your hammer time. Ariel! That didn't work at all. And grab the sock. Then we can return to Patrick anytime now. You know he's with us in our adventures. Yeah, I'll meet you back in the cave. Okay, jump up here. These things are clearly jump throughable. And golden spatula. Now we're two thirds of the game with generous rounding. See with ungenerous rounding. No rounding. That's just too good. There's a guy, nice little gift get over here. Take them out quickly. Two swings. And we got the killed cave. So, into the next part. We'll take up the killed cave. I, think, I like this. One area per video. The last one probably up two. Eh, maybe. And then maybe. Maybe I don't like this is the longest area in the game. I, really, I, I don't know. See you guys then.